welcome to today's video. I hope you're all, I almost said a Sunday vlog. <laughs> welcome to today's video. I hope you're all doing really well. Um, um, today is Wednesday and I haven't been feeling really good. <laughs> Fell ill last week Friday. I don't know what happened. Um, I actually had been indoors all week. It's not Corona, but I had been indoors all week. And then on the Thursday evening, I went out for dinner for literally one hour. And um, me and my man both woke up the next morning with a cold. It was very cold in the evening when we went out but I was still pretty covered up and so was he so I don't know but um we were down for the count all weekend didn't go to church didn't go out hopped up on medication bedridden <laughs> okay then um I bought like a whole bunch of medication, Corenza C, ACC 200, vitamin C capsules, like the whole kit and caboodle. And a part of me just thinks I should have gone to my doctor just to get a shot and then I'll be fine. But um, I'm also not really keen on, I don't mind injections, but I just feel like, in my mind I was like this is just gonna go away in like two days and it's now Wednesday and I still sound like this but I am feeling a little bit stronger um, I just don't really get sick though I get sick yeah maybe maybe once a year with a cold but it doesn't generally tend to last quite long I get over it quite pretty quickly the only the only sickness that's bugs me a lot of the time is allergies um and that happens later half of the year doesn't really happen in the beginning part of the year so i sort of know when to expect that um and i feel like i got this flu very early because it's only may or whatever anyway um so i haven't been posting on social media because i just didn't feel like it <laughs> what am i posting um and also I, mean, I, I wasn't going anywhere we weren't going out or anything like that so um that's why i've been super quiet and um one person dm'd me to say why haven't i uploaded i didn't even have energy to respond to the dm <laughs> it was just like sorry i'm not even on social media shouldn't even be on this app today i thought instead of filming a normal video I would go through some sort of like self-care routine like a routine that I do that will sort of like make me feel better and just make me feel more like myself I'll tell you what I have done already I hadn't had my nails done in a very long time I was waiting for my manicures that I was using throughout last year um, she was moving to a new house and she works from home so she was setting up a whole new studio and stuff like that so i was sort of waiting for that to get ready for me to do my nails there's no one i trust more that gives me like the vibes like square shape i know i've been doing like a natural almond nail and i've been going to like soho for well the more i talk the more i raise my voice the more my voice is like straining <laughs> So, so I would go to Soho and stuff like that, but that's when I know I'm doing like a very natural nail. Um, but I really wanted to go to her because I wanted like a, I wanted my shape back. My, she really knows how to do a very nice square, acrylic square. Chef's kiss. She really knows how to do that. So I waited for her to open up her studio and I went to go do like a modern French um, manicure I'm just gonna focus or not a modern French manicure I also spoke about like my wedding nails and stuff like that so that's exciting but anyway um, 
so that's what I did. This is the first step that made, started making me feel like myself. This is when I'm starting to get better and that's when I'm going to go into my nails. Then um, what I did this morning is take a piping hot shower. Okay, scalding hot. That just makes me feel so good. Um, makes me feel so much better. Um, and actually looking oh decent because I have been in bed for the past since Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I've been in bed for four days. Okay, so I was like, no. Let me get up. Let me actually try and just. I'll, 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 I would get up, take a shower, and get back into my PJs and go right back into bed. Like, <laughs> that's, just, that's the most strenuous activity I've been doing for the past four days. But then I was like, let me get up. Let me actually just look normal. I'm just wearing some joggers and a turtleneck and um, my wig. Obviously, I'm not gluing it down, so I just put my bando around it and I got my rings on so I'm feeling human right now I just took my um C and ACC and now I just want to take some vitamin C one thing I'm missing is um tangerines I wish I could get tangerines but no I'm not really gonna go out and get that for me so I want to do a little bit of a self-care thing today, um, which is going to be some skin pampering, I think, but I first want to order some food. That's why I have my phone here. Um, not cooking. I don't want to cook when I'm ill. Because my throat's a bit sore. I don't want to have, like, toast or anything. I would like a croissant with... Yeah, I just want a croissant because I can make my own coffee. A filled croissant with gypsy ham, white cheddar cheese, rocket, fresh tomato, Dijon. Oh my god, that sounds so good. So that's the first step to making me feel. Second step to making me feel better is eating food. So when my food comes, I'm going to chow down and then get into a little bit of like a mask type situation. Um... And then maybe we'll even do a little bit of makeup today. I don't know. Okay, so what I want to say is I'm going to have breakfast. Um, I'm going to have a cappuccino when my food arrives. Oh, I'm excited about this. Um, let's take this Dijon mustard and the croissant. And then we're going to get into the self-care routine. So I do have some new lipsticks that I want to play around with. These are the new Chanel Rouge Coco Bloom lipsticks. They came last week. Um, I think we can try and use them today as well. I want to do an Instagram flat lay with them. <coughs> Just going to have this like this. I need to not get lipstick on my... <laughs> I love this quote so much. Um. I've posted my page. Yeah, I try to keep it neutral during winter. I love this photo of the sea fragrance that I took with my blazer that I haven't worn yet. Still has the tag on. <laughs> I ended up wearing this one. Loved it. Kept it. Anyway, um, I need to pack this up. I'm getting cold now sitting out here and time to eat my food has arrived. Damn, she look she look. Okay. Let me eat my 
food. And I'll catch with you guys a little later. Okay, so I'm in my I'm in my bathroom and facing my window, so I hope I'm not too overexposed. My ears feel blocked. Anyway, so I want to do a little bit of a skincare routine, a little bit of a pamper routine using some products that I like. So after I've cleansed my skin, it's feeling a little bit tight and dry, I just gave it another wipe with a facial wet. I'm going to go with my Dior um, Capture Youth um, Total. This is a lotion serum and I like to use this before any other serum. It's a very light consistency. Um, it's not a, yeah, it's a serum lotion. So I like to just apply this to my face right after my shower it's very light it almost feels like it's a toner it's not as um the consistency is a lot less a lot lightweight a lot more lightweight than your traditional serum so that's why i sort of like if i'm layering serums i'll put that on first it's really great to use in the morning but I also like to use it morning and night. I don't really have this me really big preference. Then um, I'm gonna go in with a hydration elixir, and I really love facial oils. These are my favorite type of product. Um, it is tricky to find one though that I feel. Is a really amazing. Um, just sits beautifully on the skin. It's not drying because oils can actually be drying. With this oil on, I'm gonna take my jade roller and oh, that is cold. I'm gonna take my jade roller and just deep puff my face. Um, Jade rollers work with um, your lymph nodes. They work with deep puffing. If you wanna do it away from your face. I don't use this a lot of the time, but it just feels so good. I'm sure the experts out there will probably have a problem with the way I'm doing it. But it just feels so good. <coughs> It's like a face massage really it's super cooling on the skin and it's just like using a spoon on your eyes underneath your eyes for your eye bags you take the smaller side and do that there um it deep ups it's that cool touch um on your skin and it's also about the crystals and the gems as well that work in unison Take it away. Take it away from your face. I didn't do a mask because I know I just want to put a little bit of makeup on. And I think that'll be a little bit counterintuitive. I'll probably do a mask later this evening. I feel like my face feels a little bit swollen. So. That's always nice. Then I'm gonna go in with um, a moisturizer. This is, I don't know if you can see it. This is the Sensei Essence Day Veil. Has an SPF of 30. Even if you are inside the house or you plan on leaving, it's always good to have an SPF moisturizer. I think I put too much on. Also, I'm in love with Sensei products. They're just so luxurious. They feel great on the skin. It's a Japanese brand, I think. Japanese. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, or Korean. Um, but it just feels so good. I really thoroughly enjoy all Sensei products. I don't think I've used one that I don't. 
particularly like. Um, I'm gonna go in with another Zenta product. This is a lip treatment. And this you put around your mouth. I think this is particularly great if you're a smoker and to avoid those lines when you age. But um, it's also great for laugh lines around your face. It's quite thick. So I like put my laugh lines in the corners and then around my lips. And then in the excess, I'll just rub on my lips. And then I'm gonna go on with the lip gloss. This one is from Sensei as well. This is not sponsored by Sensei. <laughs> I just love like these, these products so much. It's got a little bit of color on it. So. Just gonna go in once again with this roller. And that's it. So let's get to my office and do a light face of makeup to see how we can give ourselves some freshness, some color of the day so um one of the biggest things for me is one of my issues obviously is my eyebrows when i don't have my eyebrows on i don't really look alive <laughs> so um i'm just gonna fill them in i really don't want to do too much i'm gonna see if i can just um fill them in with this um pump and brow this is the dior pump and brow it's a very nice um, gel, um, brow gel. It's not even a gel, it's more like, I don't know. If you had eyebrows, you'd probably use this. I'm just gonna stroke. This is the shade 002. My light is probably very bright. I don't really wanna draw eyebrows. But I will do a little bit of Shaping. I'm gonna take this MAC um, concealer palette. I just wanna clean up at the bottom. Such a beautiful day. Sun is shining, birds are chirping. Just taking a fluffy brush. I'm blending out that product. That is okay. But my eyebrows are very short, so I need a little bit of length at the ends. So I'm taking my Benefit Brow Pencil or Brow Styler and just adding a little bit of the tail at the end. I'm gonna rub it this again. Okay. It's definitely a brow gel because my eyebrows feel quite stiff. Now I'm going to go in with my Chanel concealer. This is my actual foundation shade and I just want to use it to do a little bit of under eye coverage. And then a little bit of discoloration coverage. I'm gonna go in with this mini um, Real Techniques e Mini Expert Face Brush and just um, pat it in. If I'm using such light coverage, I don't wanna move the product around. I really just wanna beat it into my face, pat it into my face. I've called this dimpling action, apparently, I think. Cover up those chicken pox scars. No, no work. And that's as far as discoloration cover up goes. I don't know, is there anywhere else that I need? Covering. Glaringly obvious. 
the shade of this concealer is 121 caramel okay so with that done that's as far as coverage is gonna go for me um i definitely want to use a little bit of a blush or whatever so i came across these two palettes in my cupboard yesterday this is the sigma highlight and contour scar palette and i'm just gonna do a light with my same foundation brush i'm gonna do this um it's called throw shade and i'm gonna mix it with hollow and first i'm gonna do throw shade yeah throw shade is that's good enough <laughs> It's got a grey undertone, which is what you want for contouring. And a little bit of my jaw as well. I'm gonna use the blush palette for some blush. I wanna use blushes that I've used with foundation before. And I'm gonna go in with, I think I'm gonna mix in Tiger Lily and Mod Mauve. I think I'm gonna read to my cheeks. I think I should mix it with spice maybe. Yeah. So I'm gonna mix it with Um I think I put my blush a little bit too low. So let me just cut my cheekbone. So I have NARS um, Orgasm and Marc Jacobs Dew Drops. I think I'm going to do the Marc Jacobs because the NARS is a little bit pink, which is what I have going on already. I'm just going to take some to the back of my hand. Take my Real Techniques and just add this glow. Smells so good. It just smells like coconuts. And I'm gonna take one itty bitty pump on my forehead as well. Let me just reduce this light hopefully. Just wanna take my brow product and just define the bottom here a little bit more. For lips, because I just have my lip gloss on, the Sensa lip gloss, I think I'm going to leave my lip like this. What I tend to normally use as well is the Dior lip glows, which I really, really love. And um, and I use a sh lip sh sh Dior lip sugar scrub with that before. Um, or just a normal Dior like lip, um, lip balm or whatever it is. You can also use it before, but because I have this gloss on already, I'm just going to leave my face like this and then I'm going to just give myself a hydrating mist this is the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour miracle mist and <coughs> that is it that makes me feel good that makes me feel human again <laughs> I hope you guys can hear me I really can't raise my voice. My throat is sore. So I'm gonna have to just try and bring the decibels of this video up a little bit higher. Um, but I don't have anything really on the agenda for today. Um, let's call Bay and ask him what he thinks of my no makeup makeup. show you guys these candles that were sent to me from these are called Kyle to candles I know this is trending right now oh, there we go. 
these candles from Kylie's. I know it's trending right now. These candles that are in the shape of like a, a female figure. Um, but hers are like body inclusive. So there's this one. She just looks like a, a snack. Okay. So this one's cute. And then we have this one. She has a more... They actually have specific names. But I think the letter that had all of the information got thrown away by accident. Different body shape as well. Um, so pretty. I love the colors as well. And this one is another. Sorry, I'm having trouble hearing you. Exit Siri. Until next time. No, I asked you. And this is another one as well. Um, that has a different body shape as well. So it's more like a very inclusive approach to the candles as well. I don't know if I'm ever gonna burn these. I really wanna find a beautiful like container for them and have them as displays um, in my new office and stuff like that. So I'm not burning those, probably never. <laughs> I think I want to use them more as decorative pieces. I think they're just so stunning. Um, the Instagram, if you are inter interested, is kyoletu underscore underscore candles. Black owned, a small business, so you guys should check them out. Um, okay, so that is it. I don't know what I have to show you still. Let me go take some vitamin C. I haven't taken vitamin C today. I keep saying I'm going to take it. Let me go take some vitamin C. Go sit in the sun. And yeah. <laughs> Thank you.